ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this November Weird Weather Watch. And I did everything I could in September and October to take my planetary defense skills up a notch. And yeah, it's that time of the month where you guys save me through your contributions and donations to my PayPal link so I can pay rent. And then I spend the next month doing what I can to save y'all. Help work to make this a better place, this world. So, and I got my six year anniversary, November 23rd. I'm excited. So yeah, September, October, I told you guys it was going to be a weird month. And I gave y'all pretty much a two week notice on Hurricane Michael. And then a the month before that, it was it like 21 days, I think, Hurricane Florence. And I'm just generally cool all around. It was Halloween. Congratulations for making it through. I'm proud of you. It's been a tough, rough year. Technically, the worst year of my life. Okay, but we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And this was the magnetic field on Halloween night. And there's Earth. And then this is a weird, I don't know, magical dual universe spaceship sun behind us that showed up I do not know this information was brought to us by the impressionist who I'm guessing wasn't born in 81 okay yeah as the sky is like hey I got full black moon Lilith power I'm gonna try and scare you on the 31st that was in 2017 and then this was in October 30th of this year 2018 you had a big this brought to us by Don D Paul D Fox. Hey, he's not. He's goofy looking, really. It's a weird Halloween for me. How was it for you? But today is November 30th, where we are enduring the candy corn apocalypse. Brought to us by Katie Mususuris. But we made it through because the sun takes great care of us. This brought to us by Stacy A. Lee. We had some phenomenal astrophoric, atmospheric, incredible phenomena in West Michigan. Tonight, while they handed out candy. I wonder what kind of candy they handed out. You know, I had a moment of regret, like, damn, I should have gone around, knocked on doors and got free candy. Um, I had a possible tornado swing by. It missed. Then I had to deal with hackers, so I just shut everything down and cleaned my apartment. That's how scary it was. I cleaned my apartment on Halloween. I went as a maid, but I woke up this morning and was happy. All right, lightning was kicking yesterday, or the 28th in Italy, where they've been dealing with a lot of earthquakes in Greece, and then Mount Etna has been going on and off during the year, and Etna might slide into the ocean, causing a tsunami. We'll probably talk about that later. But you got to save yourself, too. We all got to save each other, and we all got to save ourselves. Life is crazy like that. All right, all the planets... Still on the same side of the sun. The circle does not look balanced. So, we're still getting the Eris V, and the sun faces Eris, which is a giant coronal hole with the big box that NASA loves to give us, because they don't think we can handle the information, I guess, over the coronal hole. But it is facing us, and so it will probably be geo-effective, meaning look out for earthquakes, erupting volcanoes, in general chicanery. At least that's what I do. But this whole tight band right here is kind of wild. I mean, it's like bunched up. It's like if it were a wound, the scab's in the wrong place. Does that make sense? Here, let me show you a little bit more what I'm talking about. Because basically, that is how I always figure out the weird weather watches. It's like, is the sun acting weird? Yes. Then the weather won't be acting weird. And now that with the planets on the same side and the orbital angular momentum, I believe, affecting our atmosphere, things are going to be cray-cray for at least the next 6 to 12 years. Interesting stuff to note. So yeah, there's that thing there. And this is the filamenty bunched up stuff. I'm glad it didn't pop off while it was in our general direction. Facing our general direction, but technically its explosion range hasn't passed, so I shouldn't talk about it yet. So, all the planets on the same side, how does our pressure look on Earth? Well, the wind looks kind of weird and wacky, 
with your two binaries, two binaries, and your anti-cyclones in that weird wall in front of California. Now let's look at pressure. See how pressure's doing. Yeah, that's weird, dude. That is weird. Like, whatever's going on, and remember there's a volcano which hasn't been erupting for the last few months. It erupted like crazy in 2018. Uh, Alaska, with it, the volcano's called Cleveland, and it's in Alaska, and it's right about here. And then there was a day about a week ago when you had a earthquake surge. Was it here? Along the crack line? And then you got volcanoes going off. Two in Mexico, one in Guatemala, and the Galapagos Islands. The Kalui in Hawaii is still flowing, which is nowhere near as bad as it was before. So yeah, the weather's going to continue to get weird, bro. That is my opinion. And so we got a giant storm, apparently, coming up this weekend. And shit is just weird in general. And when I was checking the models, hey, UK and England, looks like you guys are about to get punched by Mother Nature a couple times. And so how weird is it? That's how weird it is, dude. Right now, this giant storm, which had me stand out on the porch like Lieutenant Dan, waiting for the tornadoes, see if I could get up and in one. Disappointed it didn't, but they had some tornadic turnips around here, I think. Anyway, the giant cloud that is moving east and will cause problems up and down the area. Though, when I was looking at the... Where did you go? Where did you go? Too many tabs up. Where did I put you? No, I don't know. Oh, you're right there. Okay, so this was the squall line that was super mega nasty. That caused the majority of the problems. Looks like the squall line has broken down. And so it is nowhere near... It was super red, like... The red was almost as big as the whole green here. And so this is going to cause some rain. But it doesn't look like it was as bad as it was yesterday. So that is good news. We don't need any more weird weather trouble. Speaking of weird weather, remind you guys, it is still hurricane season to the end of this month. Though everybody's like hanging up their spurs, I still think we have potential for a hurricane, or possibly two, it could just get weird in like two weeks. That's what my Jetta Sense tells me, and so far my Jetta Sense has been right. If, it's, if I think, if I'm sure it's going to happen, or like have a really good hunch, then I will start ringing the bell. But right now, uh, we don't see any major signs of it. It's just a gut feeling I have. But we're still in hurricane season, so we're going to pretend like it's hurricane season. Sound good? Great. Brought to us by Alan Weather at AWXNYC. Welcome to November, June. Because apparently it's still hot, kind of moist up north by the New Yorkish areas in, in the Massachusetts bit stuff, you know. Wicked summer like in November. It's brought to us by Eric Fisher. Looks pretty wild Saturday morning. Yeah, I'm going to make a video after this one just talking about the weekend storms and the multiple storms because they look pretty bad. He says it looks pretty wild Saturday morning. Strong dynamics yield a burst of very heavy rain, very gusty winds, thunderstorms, possibly some rotating ones, and then the rapid cooling as a rush of chilly air comes behind it. All right, sounds cool. Everybody get ready, be prepared, and then you got a secondary storm right behind it. So, shit can always get wild fast, but you're, we're going to get the same scenario I think, again, in like a week or whatever. And sometimes I get confused. So maybe you can tell me this. This woman is gorgeous, doing her at Raquel Welch, 1 million BC. And so I gave her the costume award, but she's married. So what is it? I don't, you know, I don't even, am, am I allowed to think that she's attractive? She's married. I don't know. Life is weird in 2018, man. Dating is the scariest thing I know of in 2018, really. Other than going homeless. But you guys save me every time, so I'm not going to worry even though I need, need a miracle. Okay, great. Sean Milrad. Nocturnal tornadoes remain terrifying. And I'm not even afraid of tornadoes in general. Uh, yeah, that's kind of bass backwards. I know this sounds weird. 
it's because I know how to get away from them in daylight. Yeah, I guess good point. But, yeah, this was last night's storm. It was pretty windy, caused some damage in a bunch of different areas. And I don't like tornadoes in general, honestly. No, a store, yeah, I guess you can get away from them, but I was like, just, you know, I don't know. I'm saying, yep, tornadoes. I'd prefer not to be around them. But it's just like a dragon. If I see a dragon, I run to the dragon. So if I see a tornado, I'm going to run to the tornado, probably. Nah, probably not. NOAA Satellites goes east is watching severe storms move across portions of the southeast today and tomorrow. The NWSSPC has issued a tornado watch for parts of Alabama. Oh yeah, I don't need to read that shit. It's 10 hours ago. But I wanted to show you that crazy jet. Whoa. I just lost everything. Oh, there it is. I wanted to show you guys that crazy jet that was putting in a lot of moisture in a lot of areas. It was like the one did it before in New Orleans. All right, tough scenario to tweet about in real time. This is 10 hours ago. But things got really gnarly over downtown Houston for a few minutes around 9 p.m. last night. Yeah, all my shit was off and I unplugged everything. Hackers, man, I'm too handsome. I'm too charming. So they like to come after me. But I expected it on Witch's Night, you know? Man, October is really like a witchy month. You know, I know there are good witches and bad witches, but it's like a bad witch month, like a dark moon Lilith month. October is not my favorite month of them all. December, man. All right, Florence made landfall seven weeks ago from more than 200 closures due to Florence. The number has dropped to 12 roads and nine bridges are still closed. So yeah, we've been, we've been hit by five hurricanes in 14 months. And then if you count the U2 one that hit uh, an American territory, I think it's six now. I don't know how to do my math. I've been working so hard for the last 10 months. I don't know. I've got to recalibrate. I had to rest. I was going to die. It's hell in the body, even though I don't really move because I spend most of the time stationary looking at data or editing. All right, so these are our storms moving through. Yeah, shit's going to keep getting weird, bro. You don't have to believe me about the Eris, even though the Eris V keeps showing up in the sun whenever it faces Eris. Or about the planetary alignment things. But, you know, there are geographical shapes we continue to see that look like orbits in the pressure, so all the signs point to it. And yes, they're geoengineering like 10% of this shit, man, but all these processes, mankind does not control Earth. Mankind does not control the oceans. Mankind does not control the atmosphere. I mean, every single human being you ever knew had diarrhea. Like, they, have they invented some shit to where you don't get a cold or... You don't ever get diarrhea? I doubt it. And why haven't they invented something that cures male pattern baldness yet? Because you would think if they did, they'd make a lot of money, so they'd put it out. I don't even know. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Being the shaven-headed ones. It's popular. Thanks, Nostradamus. It's water vapor. And, of course, they zapped it when it gets to the jet. All right. And then this is... What am I talking about here? Oh, yeah. This is precipital moisture and these, like, volcanic moisture pinch points. And I just made that up. There's one there, and then there's one there, where all of a sudden it just gets real moisty, and then it squishes back down and unmoisty. And look how freaking cray-cray the moisture is down by Mexico. Here's a river flooding. Yeah, it's still flooding, man. Still pretty flood flooding. And the wind shear is from 5 o'clock today. It's pretty wind cheery. Where's the thingy? I missed the thingy that was good. Where'd it go? Dun 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 dun. I gotta go with my timeline. Totally screwed up. Give me a second, if you will. Do, 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 do. Where'd it go? It's the one. I bet I could show. Should I could just go. Yeah, this is what my life has felt like. Except I've had no beta ray built. Oh, yeah. Crazy. There's my love life. 
Oh, I got out of that shit. Okay, wait, what? I'm going. Damn it. Okay, I screwed everything up. Now I'm looking at a horse. Oh, yeah. Give me one second. I got it. I figured out what the hell I was trying to show you. One last cool point. No, that's not cool. This is like the most record breakingest East Coast. There you go. This is the most record breakingest East Coast hurricane season, typhoon season ever. All right. It's probably going to keep getting crazier. We either adjust to it or don't. And here's that atmospheric river coming from the equator. I continue to talk about this. It's going to continue to cause problems. So, yeah, that's what we're looking at. It's a weird, wild weather wacky. And that is going to continue to pour moisture into the atmosphere that goes over those areas. So, you got three moisture points. You got the Mexican Pacific, and then you got the North Pacific by Canada, and then you got it coming in through the Gulf. So, there are areas we were going to hit, get hit by a whole lot of massive, na nasty rain. So, I'm still rusty mentally and physically, I guess. Shit, I'm always in combat. But I love you. I appreciate all you've done. And for these almost six years of being Thor Thor News, I appreciate you guys saving me every time. And honestly, I know I spend too much attention on the assholes and trolls. The majority of Thor News people are absolutely cool. And I am grateful for that. Because I've never been about numbers. I've always been about quality. Quality over quantity, man. So I love you guys. And I do hope you'll save me and Thor News this month. Because I definitely think I've worked hard enough and earned it in this weird, weird world. Shit, they should have given me seven Nobel Peace Prizes by now. And that's N-O-B-L-E, not N-O-B-E-L. Because the Nobels are actually an oil family. Did you know that? When they're handing out Nobel Peace Prizes, or any Nobel Prize, you're getting a prize from an oil family. That's kind of odd. All right. Well, no, nah, it makes sense for 2018. Everybody be cool, stay cool, and I will be pumping it out and doing my best. And I will be getting back to my super old awesome self in a month or two. That sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. Let the humor return. God bless everyone. Let's have a happy Thanksgiving and a Merry Christmas. A kick-ass Hanukkah. Plus, an awesome Kwanzaa. Sounds good. And a happy new year. Sounds great. Stay cool. Peace out. God bless everyone.